Bye. Ajá, tráelo. Bye. Eh, ya nos estamos llamando. Oh, okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Mm, sure. Seguro. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's go back. Vamos a regresar a la sala principal. Okay. Okay. Okay, so listen up. Uh, right now we continue with uh, some more things. Uh, I just want to mention that in the previous activity we had some words. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, the word department. Okay, solamente hacer énfasis en la palabra department. Lo que logré escuchar. This is the department. 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 Okay. Department. So just check that. Okay, so now we continue, uh, guys, with a listening activity. Uh, let's see, Daniel, could you read please the instructions? Open the link and complete the task. Okay, so look at this. I'm gonna send you the link. We're gonna listen to a conversation about two people introducing themselves, okay? Um, okay, just hold on a second. This is on your manual, okay? So everything is taken from that place. So let me know if you can see the um, website. Can you see it? Ya se ve, chicos? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Listen, I have sent you the link. Ya les compartí el enlace para que lo vayamos haciendo juntos, okay? O pueden ir viendo. Look at this. We have a, a pre-listening exercise. So what are typical topics of conversation that come up when meeting someone for the first time? So write down your ideas before you begin. So tell me, give me some ideas. So what are some common topics that you talk about when you meet new people. ¿De qué temas hablan chicos cuando conocen usualmente a alguien por primera vez? So can you mention, can you give me some ideas, topics? Uh, about age. Age. About hobbies. Hobbies. So far, about go work. A work, okay. Party. Parties. Okay, parties. Parties, yes. Fiestas. Okay. No, Pari, no. Esa no. Which? Yes, that's... Okay. Um, what else? What else? Cuando está ahí conquistando ahí a esa persona especial. Eh, o cuando está hablando con esa persona especial. ¿De, de, qué, de qué temas hablan? Happy birthday. So, eh, birthday, okay. Eh, eh, food. Eh. Food. food. Food, okay. Food, please. Navidad. <laughs> okay, Christmas. What else? Movies. Family. Movies. Family. Okay. Music. Music. Music, right? Music. What kind of music do you like? I do too. <laughs> ¿Qué música te gusta? A mí también. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Luca Room. Series. Uh huh. Series. Luca Room. Um, Francisco? Look, room? Estuario? Uh, history? History? Yes. Ah, okay, history. Yeah, it could be. If you want to look like a smart guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, interesting. So you gave me ideas. Yo aprendo de ustedes. Esto no salió de mí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so I have some topics. Yo pensaba en el clima. <laughs> Qué caliente está hoy, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, nice. Um, look at this. We have an idiom here. A social butterfly. Someone who enjoys being around people. Are you a social butterfly, guys? 
O sea, alguien que disfruta está rodeado de personas. Are you a social butterfly? Yes, no, Francisco? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, Daniel? Yes. <laughs> Aníbal? Yes. Okay, Carmen, how about you? Carmen, Dora? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, uh, Gloria, how about you, Gloria? So, are you a social butterfly? Yes or no? Más o menos. That's Más o menos. the middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at the example. She's a real social butterfly and always seems to make friends so easily. Are you good at making friends? ¿Son buenos haciendo amigos? Or not, not that. Tienen que tomarse su tiempo, ¿verdad? Para, <laughs> para conocer a alguien. Okay, para look at this. Para? Socializar. Para socializar. Okay, sometimes, nice. sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, look at this. Uh, we have a listen to the recording and answer the questions. So we're going to listen. We're going to observe some questions. For example, what is the woman's name? Jenny, Julie, Jane. Where is the woman from uh, originally? How long did the man live in California before they moved overseas? ¿Cuánto tiempo vivió el hombre en California antes de moverse o de mudarse al extranjero? What is the man studying? Que está estudiando biology, physics, psychology. What is the woman's job? ¿Cuál es el trabajo? A receptionist, a computer programmer, a sales representative. Okay, and that's all. Look at this. So I'm going to start uh, playing the audio. So listen, listen up and listen carefully, right? Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well... I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. Do we listen to that again? Escuchamos de nuevo? Please. Yes. Once more? Okay. Once more. That's good. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay, let's see how well you did it. What is the woman's name? Uh, what is the woman's name? Jenny. And her real name? <laughs> uh -huh. Juanita, pero le dicen Jenny. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, Juanita. Um, Juanita, okay. Okay, okay nice. Um, how about the next question? Um, okay. Where is the woman from originally? Argentina. 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 Well, 
Originally, I'm from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was five years old. How long did the men live in California before they moved overseas? Seven, Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Seven okay. years. Okay, correct. I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Perfect. What is the man study? Psychology. 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 Biology. Biology. Physics. Physics. And psychology. Psychology. What is the woman's job? Sales representative. Computer. I sell and represent. I sell and represent. Okay, well, look at this. Uh, well, I'm working as a sales representative, representative for computer representative. company, company called Comtech. Downtown, in the center, in the center of the city, Comtech. Downtown. Okay, perfect. So now we can continue with another activity. The uh, just give me one second, and we go back. But I'm going to show you the vocabulary um, shown in this, uh, in this uh, audio. Let me look for that. Okay, listen and script. Okay, so now we're going to oh, listen that again, but with the scripts. Lo vamos a escuchar nuevamente, pero con, ahí con el texto. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow, it sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay, how was it? Ahora sí, mejor, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, so uh, I want to mention that you can use this script. Um, so first, you try listening once and then you answer the questions and later on you observe, you, you can uh, check the scripts. Entonces pueden ir ustedes practicando lo que ustedes comprenden, la primera vez lo escuchan, después... Um, contestan las preguntas y luego ven el script para que ustedes mejoren o puedan corregir, ¿verdad? Lo que no, lo que no se alcanzó a, a comprender. So you can do that too. Entonces, pueden, tienen esa herramienta ahí disponible con este sitio web. Es muy bueno. Y espero que más adelante les mostremos el otro. Creo que tenemos otro por ahí del British Council. Pero ese es muy bueno. Okay, so now look at this. You have another task, writing task, asking about names. So the instruction, please help us. Um, let's see. Johnny, Johnny, help us, please, with the, with the instruction. Complete and practice the conversation with a new classmate using your hours names and information in the guide. Continue the conversation in your own way. Use questions like, what your last name? How do you spell it? Call you repeat, please. Excuse me, did you say, call you repeat, please? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, that's the same question. Okay, look at this. So we have this model conversation. Uh, you have to ask about people's name. Excuse me, are you Johnny? No, I'm not. Um, Danielle, that's Johnny. Where? Right over there. In Are you 
Okay, and you continue with uh, the any other question, right? Yes, I am. And then you continue. Uh, and are you the new supervisor, for example? So I'm gonna write an example. And besides that, you have to add questions like this. Questions about personal information, like what's your last name? How do you spell it? Could you repeat it, please? Excuse me, did you say? Thanks, okay. Example, excuse me, are you, let's see, uh, Danielle. Excuse me, are you Danielle? No, I'm not. Um, give me a name. Any name? I'm Francisco. Okay, so you don't give me names. That's not my numbers. That's, I'm not, um, okay, I'm Francisco. That's Daniel. Okay, disculpa, eres tu Daniel? No. Soy Francisco. Ese es Daniel. Where? A donde? Right over there. Justo ahí. And are you, you mentioned you had an occupation, and are you the, um, the new supervisor? Okay. And are you the new supervisor? Yes, I am. Okay. Who you... What's your last name? Okay, what's your last name? Daniel, your last name? What's your last Cifontes. name? Aha, Cifontes. Okay. Cifontes. Cifontes. Okay, how do you spell it? How do you spell it? And then you have to continue the conversation your own way. Uh, you start um, so you, uh, doing the spellings, right? Excuse me, did you say? And then you correct that, right? Excuse me. Did you say? And then you uh, repeat, right, the, um, the spelling. And he will say if that is correct or not. Excuse me, did you say S-I-F-O-N-T-E-S? -E yes, no, okay. So it can be yes or a no. And then you correct that. Y al final, pues, lo corregimos. It's, and you say, you say the correct spelling. Aquí decimos el spelling correcto. Okay, so let's see. Let's practice. Um, let me see. I'll need one person. Uh, for example, help us. Uh, Mario, Mario. Mario, please. Yes. Okay, Mario. Excuse me, are you Daniel? No, I am no, I am Francisco. Has Daniel. Okay, that's that's Daniel. Okay, that's where? Right over there. Are. And are you how the are new you? supervisor? How how are you? How how are you? Are you? How? You, the new supervisor. Supervisor, supervisor. Uh, supervisor. Yes, I am. Uh, what your last name? Last, last name. Last name, what's your last name? What's your last name? What your last name? Sifontes. Uh, how do you... Eso, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Spell. 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 How do you spell it? How, how do, do you spell it? Listen. How do you spell it? 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 Ajá. Vamos a unirlo con el it. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? Okay. S-I-F-O-N-T-E-S. 
Uh, excuse me. Did you say sifontes? Ah, ok. Uh, pero acá tiene que ser deletreado. Uh, ah, ok. Es. Mm. Acá, acá. Es. Sí, yes. Des. Es. Es. I. I. F. F. O. O. N. N. T. T. E. 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 S. S. No. It's S. I. F. O. N. T. E. S. Y ahí terminamos con thank you. Ok. Okay. So that's what you have to do. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Okay. So you have to complete this conversation your own way. Let's see. So now let's see the example with Daniel and Francisco. Okay. Ahora vamos a hacer el ejemplo con los eh, reales. Daniel and Francisco. <laughs> okay. Um, Tendríamos que empezar. Let's see. I don't know. You decide. Francisco, uh, you, you can start. Excuse me. Are you Daniel? Oh, that's the opposite. Creo que no, es yes. uh, uh, al revés. Ok, uh, Daniel. Daniel. Excuse me, are you Daniel? No, I'm not. And I, Francisco. That, Daniel? Where? Right over there. And you write the news person? Yes, I am. What's your last name? C. Fontes. How do you start? How do you spell it? S I F O N T E S. Excuse me? Do you say S I F O N M T E E S? No, it's S I F O N T E E S. 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 Thank you. Nice. Look at this. Uh, that's. that's. So we're going to mark some of the words. For example, this is that's. Excuse me. Are you Daniel? No, I'm not. I'm Francisco. That's Daniel. Okay. That's Daniel, right? Where? Again, double H question. Where? Where? Okay. Right. Aquí por acá les he puesto el right. Justo ahí, right over there. In are you the new supervisor? Acá está cortado, pero esa es la parte de, de, esta, de acá, lo que vayan a ubicar. Uh, eres el nuevo supervisor, el nuevo gerente, eres el nuevo eh, empleado, el nuevo colega o compañero. Ustedes lo pueden ir modificando. In are you the new supervisor? In are you... In, are you the new supervisor? Supervisor. Okay, uh, right over there. And are you the new supervisor? Recuerden que aquí tenemos un punto, okay? Toman un respiro. Right over there. And are you the new supervisor? Yes, I am. What's your last name? Sifontes. How do you spell it? S-I-F-O-N-T-E-S. -E Entonces ahí prepárense con su, eh, con su nombre y el deletreo. Excuse me. Did you say... S I F O N T E E S. No, it's A S I F O N T E S. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And then we finish. También, uh, ahí lo terminamos con un gracias. Okay. So let's see. A. Thanks. Thanks so much. Uh, oh, thank you so much. que suene un poquito más formal y también le vamos a agregar ahí, no sé si se ve chicos, vamos a hacer un lowercase. Thank you. Then B. No problem. Ok, mire, podemos contestar de otra manera, ya no diciendo you're welcome, podemos decir no problem, it's ok, it's ok. No worries. Lo voy a ubicar acá. No worries. My pleasure. Hi. Hola, dígame. 
No sé si escuché, escuché una voz por ahí. A ver, quizás escuché de nuevo. Okay. Y, ajá, y terminamos, y terminamos ahí con, con el gracias, ¿ok? ¿Quiera de esas? O oh, you're welcome. Más común. Ok, are you ready? Let me know. Ready? Ready. Ok, perfect. So, I'll take a screenshot. Yo le voy a tomar una captura de pantalla también y se las envío, pero en el meeting chat. Ahorita se las comparto. Ahí está. Ok, so now it's time to practice. Let's go to the breakout rooms. Let me recreate that. Ok, there you go. So join the breakout rooms, guys. Me avisan si hay alguien que no haya recibido invitación aún. Ok, José Carlos, de acuerdo, muchas gracias. Kevin, ah, Kevin está bien. Okay. observar ahí la pantalla ya, Johnny? Sí. Okay. Ah, pero esta es la anterior. No, me parece la, la última. No. Ah, sí, sí, por el chat. Sí, sí. Sí, exacto. Ya lo, ya lo tengo. Lo tienes. Va, vale, listo. Ok. Yo sería el B, por el Francisco, creo que ahí nada más. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, excuse me, are you Daniel? No, I am not. I am Francisco. Ted Daniel. Where? Right or there. And are you the new person? Uh, yes, I am. What's your last name? Silva. How do you spell it? S I L B A. Excuse me? Do you say S I L L B A? Yes. It is Fonte? No. Silva. It is Silva. Yes. yes. It's okay. Eh, no sé si logras apreciar lo demás. Coloco ahí el thank you, no problem. But it's okay. Ajá. No sí, esas esa creo que eran las, como la, las respuestas las para, para. Ajá, las opciones. Ingrid. Eh, que está okay. allá, por ejemplo. Where? Okay. Excuse. Okay. Comienza. Okay. No le escuché. Comienza. Okay. Excuse me. Are you Ingrid? No, I'm not. I am Edward. That's Ingrid. Where? Right over there. Are you right the um, new supervisor? 
Yes, I am. Uh, what is your last name? Blanco. Uh, how do you spell it? B L A N C O. Excuse, excuse me, did you say B L O N C O? No. Is B L A N C O. Thanks. No problem. It's okay. ¿Quién nos queda en el grupo aquí que pase? Yo no puedo ver nada. Está a la par. No, no, ¿quién es el otro que está en el grupo de nosotros ahorita en la sala? Ah, la teacher. Oh. Es la teacher supervisándonos. <ríe> Edgar ya vino, Edgar. <ríe> <ríe> ¿Cómo le fue? ¿Ya? ¿En la casa? Eh, sí, ya. ya. Ok, perfecto. Ok, creo que ya terminé. No. No, ok. One more. Go ahead. Ok. Ingrid. Tú empezar, otra vez yo. Tú. Yo, ok. Excuse me, are you Ingrid? No, I'm not. I am Edgar. That's that. That's Ingrid. Where? Uh, right over there. Are you right the new supervisor? Yes, I am. What is your last name? Blanco. Uh, how do you spell it? It's B L A N C O. Uh, excuse me, did you say B L A N C O? Repeat, please. Uh, B L A N C O? Yes. Okay, thanks. No problem, it's okay. It's S O L. Thank you. No problem. Bueno, empezamos otra vez. Okay, okay. Hoy, bueno, hoy empiezo yo. Okay. Excuse me, are you Luis? No, I no, I not. I'm I am Voy a poner mi nombre. Bueno, eso, sí. Aníbal Dax. Me dijo. Luis. Dax. Luis. Luis. Va. Where. Ajá, Luis. Where. Are you over there? And are you the new supervisor? Yes, I am. What's your... no, no, no dijimos el apellido, pero vamos a decir hoy. Digamos el suyo hoy. Ay, pero. Le preguntamos aquí a la teacher. Ah, ¿cómo, ¿cómo que pronunciaba la Z, la teacher? Por please, teacher. ¿Cuál? ¿Perdón? La letra Z, ¿cómo es que se pronunciaba? Z. Sí. Sí. Ajá. Z. Ah, ya. Sí. ya, ya, ya me acordé. Sí. <risa> Va. Oh, what's, what, uh -huh. what's your last name? López. How do you spell it? L O P E C. Excuse me, did you say L O E E C? Uh, yes. Bueno, ya yeah, no, porque se lo dije mal. <laughs> no, no. It's L O P E C. Uh, thank you. Okay, no problem. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs>
Bueno, ahí. ¿Empieza usted o, o cómo? Hoy, no, ah, hoy empiece usted. Pero busquemos otro apellido. Tantas apellidos que hay, pues no, no lo vemos ni uno. Sí, hombre. <ríe> Quintanilla. Mucho, mucho. Va. Bueno, probemos. <ríe> Quintanilla. Ajá. Y, excuse me. Empiezo yo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Excuse me, are you Rafael? No, I'm not. I am... Daniel, that's Rafael. Where? Right over there. And are you Rafael, the new supervisor? Yes, I am. What's your last name? Uh, Quintanilla. How do you spell it? Well, I have a tongue with this. Q, 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 Q. U. I, I, N, N, E, T, A, A, N, I, I, L, L, I. Excuse me. No, usted sigue. Bueno, pues si quieres repitamos otra vez. Ya, 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 nos queda. ya nos trabamos ahí. Sí, con Quintanilla. Quintanilla, ¿verdad? Excuse me, are you eh, Rafael? No, I'm not. I am Manuel. That's Rafael. Where? Right over there. And are you Rafael, the new supervisor? Yes, I am. What's your last name? Eh, Quintanilla. How do you spell it? Spell it. Uh, you spell. Spell. spell it. Spell it. Mm -hmm. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? U U A I I N E T A I Hello guys, welcome back. Johnny, Gloria. Okay, welcome back, guys. So we continue with um, some more things, uh, but this is uh, basically related to the new unit. Okay, vamos a seguir, chicos, con el uh, siguiente contenido. So we have uh, some vocabulary over here, and we're going to be checking some more, right? Look like at this. We have a schedule, schedule or schedule. So can you see the vocabulary? Schedule and VC or tight. VC and tight. Week, weekend, production, and team. Again, listen up. Schedule or schedule. Schedule. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have two ways to how to pronounce this word. You have a schedule or schedule. 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 schedule i'm gonna show you in a moment so you can listen to that check so that's schedule or right, schedule. schedule listen i'm gonna uh, play that schedule 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 this is the easiest one schedule Schedule. 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 Yes. Schedule. 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 Okay. Schedule. Perfect. Schedule. 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 Schedule.
Then this, this is the other one. I use this one. Schedule. 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 Okay, perfect. So now we go back and let me see. We have VC and we have tight. Week, weekend, production, and team. Again, together, schedule, BC, tight, week, weekend, production, and production, team. team. Production, team. Okay, so we have to match this vocabulary. So can you help me? Schedule, uh, we have some definitions. So we, we, what can be a, a schedule? Any idea? Schedule? ¿Qué podría ser un schedule? Any idea? Look at the definitions that we have. Schedule, es como un horario. Un horario, okay, un horario. So which could be the right definition for this, uh, for this word, schedule. The action of making, the period from Friday, having a lot, a series of regular working um, days, possible, possible activity, oh. uh, the number of persons associated together in work or activity. So which could be the best definition? ¿Cuál podría ser la mejor definición para schedule? Eh, como el literal. No, yeah, sorry, number four. Having a lot of activities to do this wow. uh, for a, reg a series of regular working business or a school days that includes seven days. Mm, ¿Les parece como un horario? Un horario, no programación. So what do you think? Okay, let's continue with the next one. And later we can check that. Busy and tight. Busy and tight. Uh, ocupado, apretado, tight. So which could be? Tight, no. Mm -hmm. uh, apretado. For example, if you have a lot of activities to do. Having a lot of activity to do. Tiene muchas o varias actividades para hacer. Okay, could be. Week, how about week? película. <laughs> Number three. Number, Number four. Okay, for weekend. Oh. El segundo, the period from Friday evening through Sunday evening. Okay. Yeah, number two. We got it as a time for relaxing, right? Production. Mm -hmm. Production, la primera, the action of making no. or manufacturing. Sí, la number, primera. Number one, okay. One. The action of making or manufacturing from components or raw materials. Okay, and team. La última. In six. Number of person. Okay, associated. 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 Together uh -huh. in work yeah. or an activity. activity. How about, okay, and the last one? Schedule. This one, right? Consists of a list of possible activities to do. Un horario. So that's a schedule. Un horario. Se entiende ahí esa araña que hemos hecho ahí roja. Witsi araña. Yeah, so sorry, right? <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Okay, seguimos porque veo que se están durmiendo. No, mentira. <laughs> I am sleeping. Falling asleep, soñando ya está con la cenicienta. Vamos a ver. Llorando de felicidad. O llorando. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> okay, don't cry, please. Look at this. Uh, we're going to study today the, how to use the simple present. We're going to be checking two important things, affirmative statements and negative statements using simple present. Vamos a checar um, el uso del presente simple, uh, oraciones afirmativas y negativas. Let's read some examples. Um, I keep track of the financial account. Number two, you know the policies and regulations. 
we advertise the company, they help companies against financial loss. Okay, keep track. What's the meaning? Llevar un registro. Un registro de las finanzas. De la cuenta de finanzas. The financial account. La cuenta financiera. You know the policies and regulations. Tú conoces las políticas y las regulaciones. Policies. Uh -huh. We advertise the company. Nosotros promovemos, promocionamos. Right? Advertise means that to uh, show a product, right? Or to advertise a company over the social media. Promocionar, hacer publicidad para una empresa. Advertise. They help companies against financial loss. Ellos ayudan a las empresas en contra de, ¿qué cosa? Las pérdidas, las pérdidas financieras. So, can you identify the verbs? ¿Puedo identificar los verbos? So, which are the verbs that we keep, have? Keep is el mantener. Ma. Okay, keep. Ajá, uh -huh, mantener un oh, uh -huh. No, no a ver. the next one. Advertise, advertise. Promover. Promover. Advertise. Yeah. Yeah. Ayudar. 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 Very good. So now look at this, the negative statements. So what do we use for the negatives? We only need an auxiliary verb and we need um, the not, right? <laughs> And plus a verb. Ya vamos a estar viendo la estructura. Look at this. I don't keep track of the financial account. Affirmative, negative. So we need a not, right? I don't. I don't keep uh, track of the financial account. And we uh, also have the verb over here. We don't keep. Okay. Pero ya le vamos agregando la negación. You don't. No, tú no sabes, tú no mantienes un registro, tú no llevas un registro. And we don't advertise, no promovemos a la empresa, right? <laughs> And they don't help companies against financial loss. So now we're going to be checking how to use this, uh, this structure. Let's give me a second. I'm going to show you um, some, well, I'm going to show you the structure. Okay, so look at this. We have a grammar worksheet over here. Let me know if you see it. Now, is that easy? Yes, of it? Yes. Okay, so look at this. Let's analyze the two structures that we have positive and negative. Uh, we need a subject pronoun, so that's key. We need a subject pronoun, and besides that, you need a verb, right? So, which is your verb in this uh, example? Okay, subject pronoun, I, you, he, mm. she, it, we, and they. So um, besides that, you need a verb, which is our verb in this example. ¿Cuál es nuestro verbo en este ejemplo? Cook. Cook. Okay, Cook. yo cocino, tú cocinas, él, ella, it cooks. Okay. We cook and they cook. And we're going to be checking uh, the... How, when to add the S. También vamos a ver cuándo agregar la S, cómo se hace. Solamente recuerden que se hace con tercera persona estos cambios, ¿verdad? Estos cambios en los verbos. And uh, how about the negative? ¿Qué hay de las formas negativas? For the negative uh, forms, we need to check the following. We need a subject pronoun. Okay, para las formas negativas también necesitamos un pronombre. Uh, an auxiliary verb. Un verbo auxiliar que nos va a ayudar a formar esas oraciones negativas. So, which are the auxiliary verbs that we use? Do and does. Do not, contraction, don't. Does not, contraction, doesn't. Entonces, ahí vemos que también podemos hacer una contracción. El auxiliar más el not equal don't. Does plus not equal dozen. I do not cook. You do not cook. He does not cook. 
She does not cook. It does not cook. We do not cook and they do not cook. So remember that we have third person, so the auxiliary verb uh, needs to be modified. Entonces tenemos ahí tercera persona. El auxiliar tenemos que cambiarlo, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser auxiliar das. And look at this. Uh, we're going to check the examples. Oh, well, we continue with the yes, no questions. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. So we have to fill in the blanks to complete the sentences. Use the words in the box below. Okay. Tenemos aquí algunos verbos. Vamos a utilizarlos para completar el ejercicio que tenemos acá. Read. Does, walk, do, watches, eats, have, travel, don't, sings, drinks, and doesn't. Again, let's do it together. Read, read, read. does, das. Walk, das. walk, walk, do, do, do. watches, watches. watches. Eats. Eats. eats, have, how? How? And remember that this have can be it can be have or have. What is it? Una a e have or have. Have. Una have have. So what do you have to do in order to learn English? I have to have have or have travel 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 don't don't Drinks. 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 Veamos aquí los verbos. ¿Qué significa eh, cada uno de ellos? El primero. Leer. 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 Hacer. 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 Caminar. Walk. Caminar. Caminar. Do. Hacer también. Hacer es lo mismo. Ok. Ok. Entonces, ¿cuándo utilizo este o este? Ajá. Cuando estoy hablando de tercera persona, utilizo das. Mm -hmm. Pero el significado es el mismo. Watches. Ver. Ver, it's comer. Comer. Do you want to eat? ¿Quiere comer? Yes. 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 <risa> ah. sí. ah, ok. Ya, no lo sí, conozco. Ya, 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 um, no, sinks, drinks, okay, and Dawson, no, 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 okay, John eats breakfast at six o'clock in the morning, I often, read, yo, I, uh -huh, books I often my... read books in my fri free time, okay, read books in my free time, and we have a question, Okay, ¿Qué hacemos con las preguntas? Look at this. Con las preguntas, lo que hacemos es invertir. Invertimos, pues vamos a ubicar un auxiliary verb aquí al principio y después el subject. Y un verb. Do I cook? Cocino. Do you cook? Do you cook? Do you cook, guys? ¿Cocinan ustedes? Do you cook? Yes, I cook. Yes, I cook. I don't think so. Johnny. <laughs> Does he cook? Does she cook? Does he cook? Entonces lo que vamos haciendo con las preguntas nada más invertir. Invertimos, eh, ponemos auxiliar acá y el subject pronoun acá. With the answers, yes, I do. No, I, uh, no, I don't, right? No, I do not. Okay, so let's check this. Y nada más seguir practicando un poquito más eso en de las uh, yes, no questions. Uh, number three. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría ahí la número tres? Auxiliary. Do you like, do, do. Do, ok. Do you like to study English? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. My father always... Se canta. Thinks. 
Sinks. 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 Does Julie work on mm -hmm. Saturdays? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. Okay. No, she doesn't. Like, would you like to? Te gustaría? Viajar, travel. Va viajar, okay. Would you like to travel to Hawaii on our next mm -hmm. holiday? Question. Would you like to travel to Hawaii? Yeah. Yes, right? Yes. Uh, where would you like to travel? If not, where would you like to travel? Si no, a donde le gustaría viajar? Where? Where would you like to travel? Uh, can you repeat it, please? I would like to walk to the hotel. Okay. <laughs> Any other? Adoria, Gloria. Francisco, where would you like to travel? Uh, Hawaii. Okay. Uh, numbers. Uh, yes, tell me. Las Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas. Peru. Okay. Peru. Mm -hmm. um, numbers. China. China. Okay. Yeah. That could be. Number seven, what do you think? I live close to my company. Vivo cerca de mi empresa. I live close. Vivo cerca. Close means cerca. Close quiere decir cerca. I live close to my company. So Four. I can. Room. Four. Four. Vamos a ver. Veamos los verbos que tenemos arriba. I can walk. Caminar. I can walk. I can. Room to walk. What? Uh -huh. I can walk to work. Number eight, Mr. Smith always tea in the afternoon. Drinks. 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 Okay. My Drinks. classmate. Watches. Watches. Mm -hmm. Watches. His favorite TV show after class. I'm sorry. I. Have time to talk to you now. I don't. I don't. Okay. Question. Your cousin have a job. Auxiliary. Yes. Does. Okay. Does your cousin have a job? Yes, she does. I don't. Let's check the verbs again. Vamos a ir los verbos. Have. Have. Okay. Very too fast. I don't have. A pen. Uh, I don't have a pen. Uh, could, you, uh, could I please borrow your pen? Perfect. So these are just some examples of uh, some positive and negative examples. Uh, get a screenshot. Okay. So I'm gonna send you one. Yo les envío una, and then you, you copy the rest. So now we continue uh, with uh, some more things, and we're gonna observe these um, some daily activities. So let's go back, okay? So we're gonna be uh, talking about some daily routines, and we have to match the words and pictures. Tenemos que ahí emparejar las palabras con that's photos. Look at this. We have have dinner, have dinner, have a shower, go home, go to school, have lunch, have breakfast, get up, go to bed, brush your teeth, wake up, go to work, and do homework. Okay. Again, have dinner, dinner. Okay, have dinner, have a shower, have a, sh have a shower, go home, go to school, school. have lunch, have breakfast, get up, get up, go to bed, brush your teeth, wake up, go to work, do 
homework. Let's see, number one. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, I'm going to send you the link so you can work on that. Les comparto el enlace. Ok, creo que no se los compartí, chicos. Ahí está. Creo que se los estaba enviando a alguien. <laughs> ok, let's see. Um, number one. Which is the activity? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. We have that. Yes, right? So you click on that and then you, um, okay, let me see. Okay. Seleccionan y lo van ubicando acá. Number two, which is that activity? ¿Cuál sería esa actividad? Vamos a ver. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ok, get up, get up, levantarse, despertar, wake up y esta, levantarse. How about the next one? Go, go, to, go, go, to, work. go to work. Go to work. Ok, perfect. How about this one? Go to school. Go to school. Where is it? Ok, go to school. And how about this one? Go to school. Any idea? Have dinner, have a shower, do homework. Go, go home. home. Go home. Okay, so home. let's mark that. So we're going to be checking that in a, in a moment. And how about this one? Breakfast. Have, uh, I have uh, breakfast. 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 Lunch. Have lunch. Breakfast. Oh, I'm, I'm mm. <laughs> so which could be? We have some doubts. <laughs> Is it breakfast or lunch? Breakfast. 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 Why? <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. Who says that you can't have breakfast? No. I'm just kidding. Okay. Have a <laughs> so what do you think? Lunch. Have a lunch. Uh huh. We have have lunch and have have dinner. lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Almost Have lunch. Mm -hmm. have lunch. Okay. And this one. Have done. Have done. Din done dinner. Dinner. Okay. Let's see. Dinner. Dinner. Mm -hmm. So we have the word diner too. Tenemos el this is la cena. Have dinner e diner. Pero el diner es el es como una cafetería. Um, and this one? The homework. The homework. Homework. Do homework. 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 Do homework. Brush. 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 Brush your thing. Brush your thing. Okay. Brush you are looking at this? Take a shower. Okay. Have a shower, have a shower or take a shower? Yeah, both are possible. So this is you at uh, the end of the class. <laughs> okay, so let's listen each of them. Wake up. Wake up. So listen, wake everybody. Up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Get up. So they say get up. Get up. I say get up. Get up. This is British. Get up. Go to work. 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 Go to school. Go to school. Go home. Go home. Go to school. Go to school. Go home. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have dinner. Have lunch. Have dinner. Have dinner. Do homework. Do homework. Do homework. Do homework. Do homework. Brush your teeth. Okay. 
Have a shower. Have a shower. Have a shower. They say shower. Have a shower. Have a shower. Ajá, pero ese es el británico. Por eso es que lo dice así, igual que otro por ahí que otros por ahí que mencionan. Go to bed. Sí, que say have a shower. Have a shower. Have a shower. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Do homework. Do homework. Do do homework. Mm -hmm. So, which uh, makes difference is how you pronounce the word. So, es bien importante ahí. Fíjense que la pronunciación es muy bonita. Cuando uno pone atención, realmente puede mejorar bastante su pronunciación. Okay, and let's continue. We have a oh, okay, we're gonna finish this. Then you got 12 out of 12. Let's see, we have a task now. Uh daily routine alphabetical order. So, which is the correct alphabetical order? Home, work, school, breakfast. Get up. So we have to move these. So can you mention which is the correct alphabetical order? Tenemos que ordenarla alfabéticamente. Ideas? Breakfast. 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 Okay. Breakfast. The next one. Get up. Get up. Okay. Get up. Home. 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 Cool. School. School. Work. And work. 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 Okay. How about this one? Bed. 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 Okay. Homework. Homework. Lunch. Lunch. Next. Bed. Shower. 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 This way? It is. And teeth. Okay, so let's see. Perfect. Okay. Okay, daily routine spelling. So which is the, the activity? Which is the daily routine? Listen. Brush your teeth. Which is the correct, uh, which is the, the daily routine? Brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. Rush your, can you spell it? Teeth. 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 Dientes. Dientes. Brush your teeth. Do. Do homework. Do you do homework? Homework. 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 Okay. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. How about this Go one? To bed. Go to, uh, to bed. Go to school. Go to school. school. Go to school. Okay. This way. How about this one? Have. What do you think? Have a. Rush. 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 Have, have a shower, teacher. Have a shower, yes, right? Have a shower. Okay. Have breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, perfect. This one? Have dinner. Have dinner, okay. Have lunch. This one? Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Wake, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Listen. Wake up. Wake up. Go to work. Go to work. 
easy, right? Work. Okay, so let's check if we did it. Okay. Yes, right. Okay, so now we go back. I'm going to show you something else. Just give me some seconds. We're going to be checking some routines, uh, some more routines. So I need you to uh, take a screenshot of, in, of them, expressing my and others' daily routines. Look at this. We have Aaron, Aaron, the clothes. Can you see that? Can you see that? Aaron? Yes, have a name. Nice name. Here. Can you see that? Daily routine verbs. Yes, seven. Let me know. Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's see. We have Aaron, the clothes. So what's the meaning for Aaron? Aaron, what's that? Planchar? La ropa. Char la ropa. Make the bed. Make the bed. Uh, hacer la cama. Get home. Get home. Ir a casa. Llegar a casa. Yeah, take a shower. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Cepillar su cabello. Okay. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Hand the clothes. Surf the net. Surf the net. Okay, give me one second. Dale un segundito. ¿Y cómo vamos a pasar el fin de semana? <laughs> ¿Dónde vamos a ir? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I don't know. As San Salvador. Okay. I like you. Yes. You can visit the parks. Pueden visitar el parque, chicos. Take a shower. Brush your hair. Do the laundry. Do the laundry, what's that? Lavar, que cosa? Do the laundry. La ropa. ropa. Mm -hmm. Hang the clothes. Hang. Ideas? Hang. Hang the clothes. Mm -hmm. Colgar. Colgar la ropa. Surf the net. Surf the net. Any idea? Surf the Navegar net. Navegar en la red. Navegar, okay. Mm -hmm. Play with friends. Go to school. Con amigos. Shopping. Con amigos. Are you going to go shopping? Ir de compras. Ir de compras. Ir de compras. Wake up. Uh, Despertar. Brush your teeth. Cepillar los dientes. Next, water the plant. Regar las plantas. Go, go for a walk. Uh, caminar. Work, have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner, exercise, uh -huh. wash the car, get dressed, get dressed, tea, okay, acá, no era una tea que al final, get dressed, go out with a friend, salir con, go out with a friend, salir con un amigo, take pictures, Play the guitar, make dinner, and fold the laundry. Doblar la, doblar la ropa. Ropa. Uh, dry to work. Feed the dog. Take a taxi. Wait for the bus. Paint a picture. Take a break. Okay. Walk the dog. Sacar a pasear el perro. Sweep the floor. Ideas? Sweep. Uh -huh. Rake the leaves. Rake. No. The leaves. Las hojas. Rake the leaves. Go ahead. Mm, no. no. You're close. Cerca, cerca, pero no. Rake the leaves. 
Alltså you Ja, rastrier. Uh, read the news. Clean the grass. Cortar la hierba. Cortar la grama, la hierba. Cortar la grama, el césped. Do the dishes. Ah, lavar los platos. Paint the house. Okay. So you have a lot of activities, right? So now, let's see. Um, We're gonna... Do you have the picture? ¿Ya tienen toda la picture? No. No. Yes, yes. So I need you to use this vocabulary for the following activity. Look at this. Let me see what time is it. Okay, so we have time. Tenemos tiempo. Well, we're gonna do the following. We have a dialogue over here. Uh, we say, good morning, Mr. Sifontes. Um, what do you do in the morning? So you can use uh, Mr. or Miss. Entonces ahí si están trabajando con una chica, recuerden cambiar el título, la señorita, señor. Uh, what Mr. do you do in the morning? I, in the morning, I make my bed, I go to, uh, I get, uh, let's say, I take a shower, and I brush my hair, I do the laundry, I surf the net. So you mentioned the activities that you do in the morning. Entonces te va mencionando las actividades que hace en la mañana. Uh, good morning, Miss, uh, Mr. Let's say Miss, uh, let's see, Miss uh, Lopez. Tenemos a Miss Lopez acá. Sí, vamos a... uh, yeah, Carmen. <laughs> Good morning, Miss <laughs> Lopez. Um, in the morning, I do this and this. Entonces, aquí tenemos la pregunta. Aquí, ¿cómo van respondiendo? Okay. So, this is just this is one example. Good morning, Miss, uh, Miss Lopez. What do you do in the morning? Good morning, Miss, uh, Mr. Sifontes. In the morning, I I take a shower, I brush my teeth, I go to work, I cook, I have breakfast, I do this and that. Entonces, te va a mencionar todas las actividades que hacen. Okay? What about the afternoon? What do you do in the afternoon? Uh, well, in the afternoon, I check my email. Let's see. In the afternoon, I wash the car, I get dressed. Uh, well, no, I, I don't get dressed, right? <laughs> I do that in the morning. I take pictures, I play the guitar, I make, uh, I fold the laundry, I take a break because I'm too busy, right? During the morning, so I, I take a break. And uh, I clean the window. So I just, need you to, <laughs> I just need you to to uh, mention as many activities as possible. Entonces mencionemos tantas actividades como sean posibles, por lo menos de las que están acá, de las actividades que ustedes hacen. Okay, is it clear? Question, answer, question, answer. Okay, so mention as many activities as possible. Let's see, one example, uh, Francisco, help me. Let's see, um, good. Good evening. I'm going to modify that. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Francisco Montoya. Could you tell me what do you do in the morning? Good morning. Uh, Miss? Uh -huh. Miss Teacher. Areli Ramirez. Areli. Uh, I in the morning. The shower. Uh -huh. In the morning, I? In the morning, I say a shower. Uh-huh. I uh, go to shopping. Okay. I work. And you work. I go shopping. Go shopping. I go shopping. Okay. What about the afternoon? What do you do in the afternoon, Francisco? Uh, well, in the afternoon, I play soccer. Uh, read uh, read the news. Okay. Uh, Take the bike. And you ride a bike. Right, right. Take, okay. okay. Ah, you take a break. Take a break. Sorry. Take a break. Okay, perfect. So that's what you have to do. You have to include as many verbs, uh, activities as possible. Let's see. Let me know. Are you ready? List of chicos, preguntas. No questions. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Ok, listen up. I'm going to send you the screenshot. Ya les mando la captura. Se las mando aquí por el meeting chat. Ahí va. Ok, so join the breakout rooms. Unámonos a las salas y empezamos a practicar. Ok, so we have some minutes. Tenemos algunos minutitos. Ok. 
Ok, bien. Dora, Fernando, Francisco y Johnny. Me avisan ahí si les aparece invitación. Marlene. Marlene, ¿le apareció invitación, Marlene? Dora, ok, Dora, ahorita la movemos. Uy, ya hasta acabó el tiempo. Vaya, hola. Hoy sí. Vaya, si quiere empiece, aunque sea el último pedacito que nos quede. Ok, permítame, permítame. Eh... Lo siento es que no, no, lo, no le había tomado captura. Va, ok, ahorita empiezo. Good morning, Miss López. What do you do in the morning? Oh, good morning, mister. Y ahí puedo decir cualquiera, va. El apellido, Carranza o Guevara. Ok. Gue Guevara. Okay. Uh -huh. Buen, uh, buenos días, mister uh, Guevara. Uh -huh. Y de ahí. Yo solo agrego la... Sí, ahí dice que a, a Haka Diner. Oh, se le quitó. A make the bed. Go to ah, bed. Se lo Ay, gracias. Ajá. Ok, sería. ¿Qué? Ay, no se me ocurre nada. <risa> Mejor Dale. lo hubiéramos hecho al revés, mm. fíjense. No, vean las que tiene acá. Vean las, las daily, Carmen. Vean las que tiene acá, las daily routine verbs. Puede elegir de, de esas. Ok. Ya eh, nos están pidiendo. Go for a walk, work, have breakfast, have uh -huh. lunch. Eh, Exercise, I have, I take my exercise, puede ser. Sí. Ya no están pidiendo. No, todavía no creo que la teacher entró. Hello, teacher. No. Your micro, microphone. Yo entré. Que... Ah. ah. Dora, <laughs> hello. Me, me welcome. Me sacó Dígale, por estar por estar guardando las imágenes. Ah, bueno, ya tenemos a alguien con quien vamos a platicar también. <risa> ya, ya, ya hicieron el ejercicio. No, en eso eh, estábamos. 
Sí, en eso. Ah, vale. Eh, ya le pregunté a Mr. Mario, ahora voy a preguntar a usted. Good morning, Mrs. What do you do in the morning? Mrs. Cornejo o Mr. Dora. Mrs. Dora. Miss Do Dora. I'm... Okay. Good morning. Go to bed. In, In the, the morning. morning. And your club, surf, the net, play with my friends, go to school, go to shopping, wake up. Brush. Wake up. Okay. Wake up. ¿Qué más? Okay. Hay otra persona. Tiene que decir what what about the afternoon what what about the afternoon afternoon afternoon, afternoon es por la noche veo una cosa ¿verdad? por la ya tarde ya que no no imprimí no 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 le saqué foto a eso what about the afternoon pero yo lo estoy proyectando en la pantalla creo ajá lo estoy compartiendo dice what about, what the, about afternoon? the afternoon what do you do oh. in the afternoon The afternoon, uh -huh. What do you do in the afternoon? Entonces yo contesto. Well, well, in the afternoon, I brush my teeth, go to bed, go to <laughs> net surfing on the net, go shopping. Go shopping, excellent. <laughs> excellent. Uh, Go shopping. Have you have do... or have a di have dinner? Okay, no have no, have, have lunch. Have, have lunch. lunch. No compartió el video, pero siempre. El, have lunch of the next day. Well, in the afternoon, wait for uh, the bus, paint a picture, and I take a break. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si quieren, hagamos el ejercicio completo. Yeah. Yeah. Voy primero Good morning. con... Bueno, Good sería... Morning, Mr. Fernando. What do you What do you do in the morning? Good morning, Mrs. Dora. In the morning, uh, first I take I brush my teeth and and go to work. Go to my work. Uh, And sometimes go to visit my mom and and friends and in the weekend in the weekend uh, go to Chalatenango. Okay. What about the afternoon? Uh, go, What do you do go, in the afternoon? Uh, well, in the afternoon, go to bed, go to and some after to go to bed. Uh, Sometimes surf on the net. Quiero ver más. Puede ser. Paint your house. Quiero ver. No sé qué más. Ok. Hola chicos, bienvenidos. Hello, teacher. Hello, oh, welcome back. Okay, so we're going to pass the tennis list. Say presence, please. Uh, Calvin Alexander Hernandez. Calvin, no, 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 no
Esperamos ahí que se incorporen todos. Ok. Ok. Uh, Calvin Alexander Hernández Ramírez. Okay. Carmen Amada López Argueta. Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Cristian Vladimir Corvera Barahona. Cristian, estaba por ahí, Cristian. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Trinidad Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Dora. Y Edgar Edenilson Reyes. Ok, Edgar, se nos desapareció. Edgar, Fátima Alexandra Martínez. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Present. Gloria Evelyn Menjibar. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jonathan David Martinez. José Carlos López Alas. Ok. Jocelyn Marleni Menjibar Álvarez. Marleni. Jocelyn Marleni. Juan Francisco Montoya Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alonso Lobato. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla, Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ok, ahí están los dos. Mario okay, Cristóbal. Yes. Ok, Noé Aníbal. Okay. Sí, ya los tengo por aquí marcados, chicos. <risa> ya vi, sí, aquí estoy viendo cómo van. <risa> Oscar Antonio Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. And William Vladimir Hernández Zapata. William, vamos a ver, William, está por acá, William. Ok, ¿hay alguien que no hayamos mencionado? En observación, teacher, habíamos como 16, probablemente los demás no lograron sí. entrar después de la sala. Porque de hecho yo estaba con Marlene y creo que la mencionó y no, no dijo que sí. Sí, correcto. Sí, algunos sí yo tengo entendido que sí están, que, que se ingresaron. Ay, sí, la Marlene dice que se quedó sin conexión, teacher. Mandó un WhatsApp al grupo. Marlene. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí, ahí así ya la marcamos acá. Sí, pero igual teacher, siempre. Teacher. ¿Quién? Pues, Vamos a ver. Um, Fernando, me dijo Fernando ahora. Edgar, teacher. Edgar, sí, Edgar, ya lo pusimos acá, Edgar. Okay. Tuve problemas con internet también. Ok, sí, no se preocupe. Fernando también está acá. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, chicos. Um, well, that's all for today. Nada más recordarles que eh, ya pueden realizar la unidad, empezar, ¿verdad? La unidad número dos. Voy a compartir ahí pantalla para indicarles dónde tienen que ingresar. Vaya, entonces terminamos acá la sección 1. Yo voy a estar actualizando la, bueno, el control de asistencia y notas para ver acá quiénes ya completaron, ¿verdad? Ya completaron todo, todo de la unidad 1, es decir, las cinco tareas. Ahora podemos ingresar a la sección 2, eh, unidad 2, Daily Routines, y pueden ingresar a la tarea número 6, tarea número 6. Ok, esta, esta de acá. Y ahí la, la van completando. Okay. Y si tienen alguna pendiente, por favor, pónganse al día para que podamos actualizar con la nota más reciente. 
¿sí? de las actividades anteriores. Bien, eso es todo por hoy, chicos. Nos veremos el día de mañana at the same time, ¿ok? 8 o'clock. So, bye okay. bye, guys. Have a good night. No okay. sé si hay preguntas. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye okay. mañana, chicos. Friends, okay.